Hi, Andrew. This is Greg Weeks for the final sprint for Engine 2. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Uh, so this is my very sad demo. I'm going to be completely honest, my demo is virtually non-existent. Um, so I'm just going to be showcasing uh, the engine features that I've worked on. So as you can see, I've got terrain here, which is partially generated as part of my project. Um, got collisions going on, very centric coordinates. Um, and sprite fonts in the corner there, so at a quick glance, um, I've pretty much got all the features down uh, for the engine side of things. It's just the uh, the demo and documentation I I neglected. I didn't really uh, really have time to do them. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into collisions. Since that's the first thing on the list. Um, so this is a higher resolution uh, height map that I chose for this. Uh, so for whatever reason, higher resolution height maps, um, you can see the bumpiness here in the terrain. They don't work very well with very centric coordinates, and it tends to be really bumpy, which makes sense because the normals are kind of all over the place uh, because of that bumpiness in the height map there. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's not a result of me actually generating this terrain um, because without any uh, calculations, it's still pretty bumpy. Uh, so if I go into the follow cam here, you can see it a little bit better because the camera is tied to the, uh, the tank's movement here. Um, so it's really bumpy, kind of all, all over the place, but um, those are the, the actual normals on the terrain. Um, so the the green rays that are casting up, um, those are the normals of uh, each triangle. Um, so if I'm in like the top triangle, you're going to see the, the top three normals, bottom, bottom three. And then the, the red is the barycentric coordinate. So that red is always going to be somewhere in between those three, um, and it interpolates smoothly. Um, so in the uh, in the next scene, I have a lower resolution terrain, which is a little bit easier to demonstrate just since it's not as bumpy, and you can actually uh, see it interpolating smoothly through. Um, so yeah, as far as collision goes, let's pop over to the god cam here. It'll take a little while to get over here. Alrighty. So. Um, terrain collision. So as you can see, the tank is colliding with the terrain. The yellow AABBs are going to be the potential AABBs based on the iterator. Um, the white AABBs here, that's uh, collision with the B-sphere. And then the red AABBs are the OBB collision with, uh, with the tank here. And when I'm going through the code, I can uh, swap that over to ABB collision just to just to prove that that all works just fine. And give you a bigger picture here. Um, so yeah, terrain collision pretty much set. Um, you can see the uh, the debug window is kind of going crazy. Terrain collision with tank. Um, okay. Yeah. So about this. Uh, sort of generated terrain here. Um, obviously, I'm using uh, vertex painting here to uh, sort of modify the RGB value of the uh, vertex stride vertices uh, that are used to create the model. Uh, so I realized that the the vertex stride class, um, it had an RGB value in it. So I used the shader that was included with uh, Azul. Um, and yeah, I, I pretty much just manipulated that to achieve this effect. So, uh, verts with a Y position below uh, zero, I believe, uh, will just turn blue. And then above zero, they're going to turn green. And I think above 100, it turns white. Um, and you'll probably be able to see that in the next map. Um, so, sprite fonts up there working. So, obviously, that is updating. Um, the skybox is actually moving along with uh, with the tank, which looks really weird with the god cam, um, but it's sort of a nicer effect <laughs> when everything's not bouncing around. Um, so yeah, let's just swap over to the second scene here. So obviously the drain's uh, much lower resolution, but the very central coordinates are uh, far smoother. Um, so you can see the uh, frigate position down there. It's a little bit easier to tell exactly where I am. Um, yeah. So let's just move over here, move past this enemy. 
see that collisions are working. Um, let's just go up this hill. So much smoother movement. Um, and you can actually see the size of each triangle based on where the, uh, the barycentric normals are sort of protruding from. Um, yeah, and this is the, the same height map. It's just that the size is a little bit bumped up. Uh, let's swap over the god cam so you can see this terrain here. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, so values that are above 100, they're going to turn white. Um, yeah, it's a pretty basic manipulation of the shader there to achieve that effect. Um, and I also have a, uh, a randomization function. <clears throat> so this essentially just takes in a bunch of vertices that are calculated using the height map. Um, and then uh, does a calculation on them to randomize them. Uh, so this is not very much randomization. Um, there is a, a vector value for the, uh, the frequency of the randomization. Um, and it's pretty low right now. So this is pretty much just the, uh, the regular height map, but with some colors on it that denote the height. Okay. Don't know why I traveled all the way over there to show you very centric, uh, but there we go. Um, yeah, so collision. That is the first thing on the list. Uh, we've already gone over the terrain collision. Just demonstrating that. Um, so, I've demonstrated tiered collision before in other demos. Um, but let's just go through this again. Uh, so if I'm colliding with this enemy here, I believe the enemy has an ABB, um, and I have an OBB, obviously. You can see it moving, and we saw it in the uh, terrain. Uh, yeah, so let's just snap over to the god cam, so we can get a good look at these things colliding. Um, and then I'll step through with the time manager. Okay. So, first collision here, uh, the B-spheres are colliding, you can step through, I'm using F9 to step through, uh, so you can see the blue outline of the ABB on the enemy tank, and that's going to, is it going to collide? Ooh, it doesn't collide, it doesn't collide with the uh, OBB, so let's rotate here, you can see they're both turning red, the ABB and the OBB are colliding. And they are no longer colliding. So let's just go through that one more time. So it snaps to um, the world ABB. Um, and then the, uh, the B sphere shows up. So as part of the tiered collision. Um, and then right after that, we're going to have a collision with the ABB and the OBB. Cool. All right, snapping into the follow cam. It's a little bit of collision with the uh, the B sphere on this uh, hut and the OBB. Okay. Um, so if I go all the way out here, you can actually see the uh, group ABB of the cottages. Um, let's just enter that, and now the cottages B-spheres are activated. Cool. Alright, tiered collision has been demonstrated. Um, I think I went over all of the collision volumes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much a demonstration of, I think, all of the, the engine components. Um, yeah, so this video is just going to be a demonstration of all that stuff. Sorry I spoke very slowly. Hope you, hopefully you're watching this on two times speed. Uh, so in the next video, I'm actually going to go over the code and the, uh, the implementation of the collision and the terrain and math tools involved and visualizer. So, yeah, basically everything to do with the engine. Alrighty.